Welcome back to PHP for beginners. Next, we will move on to the programming concepts. This includes data types, variables, making decisions and creating loops. In this lesson, I will discuss variables, data types and expressions. I hope you have already listened to my tutorial 1, installed EasyPHP and are able to write and execute simple PHP scripts. Let's start with comments. A comment is the simplest type of PHP statement. Because PHP compiler ignores these statements, they can consist of anything you want. You can insert a comment to remind yourself why you did something or to clarify some tricky code you wrote. Often, code that makes perfect sense today will mystify you tomorrow. So use comments to explain what you are thinking while you are writing the code. In PHP, the code can be commented three different ways. You can have what is called the C++ style comment. You start with two slashes and everything on the, on the remaining line is treated as a comment. Or the C style comment which starts with slash and an asterisk and ends with the matching characters. Or the Perl style comment, which starts with the pound sign. Here are a uh, couple of examples. These examples show PHP code with comments, although they are not necessarily very useful comment. This is the type one, this is the type two, and this is type three. The data types. You work every day with many kinds of data, including text and numbers. Where you store information on your computer depends on what kind of information it is. If it is text, you probably store it in a Word document. If it is numerical value or mathematical formulas, you probably store it in a Microsoft Excel workbook or Microsoft Access database. And if it's graphics, you most likely store it in a PowerPoint presentation. By storing information in a file of an office application, you are telling the recipient of that file what type of data it contains. PHP, like most other programming languages, uses a variable or a constant to represent and temporarily store data that you use in your program. A variable, on the one hand, represents data that changes or can change. Its value varies within the program. A constant, on the other hand, represents data that stay the same throughout your program. When you assign a value to a variable or a constant, it's of a specific type. PHP is a loosely typed language. Unlike Java or C Sharp, a variable does not need to be of a specific type and can freely move between types but you still need to know your data types in order to be able to work with the language. Here are a few examples. Uh, I'm stori storing a value true in a variable called VIP. And in this case, the type of that variable is Boolean. Here is a whole number, integer type, 97.5, a floating point type, and hello world, a string type. Naming rules. The variable names in PHP must begin with a dollar sign. A variable can only contain letters, numbers, or underscores. It can't contain any periods or mathematical operators and must not be the name of a PHP keyword. Variable names are case sensitive in PHP. Here are a few examples. Dollar sign, yearly cost, that's legal. A variable name containing underscore is legal, but a variable name contain, containing a pound sign or a question mark is not legal. My age would be fine if you put the dollar sign in front of it, but without it, it is illegal. Declaring variables. This is how you go about declaring variables. In this case, you are assigning a value 23 to variable A, then you are assigning a value 45.3 to B, and then sum is, which is a string type to a label, then you will try printing all of that information using 
the echo statement that you saw earlier. Here is a list of keywords in PHP. Keep that list handy uh, because if you ever try using a keyword for a variable name, you will get an error in your PHP script. Here is a list of arithmetic operators. No surprise here. These are the operators available in most programming languages. You have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then there is the modulus operator. And then you have plus plus and minus minus called the increment and the decrement operators. Those essentially come from C++ and uh, be very careful, understand them thoroughly before you actually start using these operators. Assignment statement using some of the operators that we saw on the previous slide. On the first line, you are taking the current value of C, adding 1 to it and assigning the new value to A. You are Here you are assigning the product of C and A to E or the result of the division to the variable DA and uh, so on. Here is a little more interesting assignment example. You have gallons variable containing 10 and then you want to convert gallons to liters and here is the gallons times 3.7854 which is the conversion factor and the result that you get you are assigning it to the variable liters and then using the echo statement you will print that information out. Below is the list of relational operators less than, greater than, less than or equals, greater than or equals are not equals and equal to and identically equal to. This is how you could use them in expressions. I have two variables declared here x and uh, y. x is 10, y is 5. Then my question here is is x greater than y? The answer to that should be true. Is x less than y? That is false and you may want to find out you know, what the answer to the remaining questions would be. Next, the logical operators. There are quite a few in PHP. I'm just going to focus on the AND and the OR operator. So, few more PHP statements. We have X and a Y and a A and a B containing those uh, numeric values. And the question here I'm, that I'm asking here is, is x greater than y and also a greater than b? The answer to that is true. Is x less than y and a greater than b? Both of these statements are not true. So the result of the whole statement is false. And uh, you may want to check to see what you would get for the remaining two statements. So, uh, what next? We will move on to the if statements and switch case statements for making decisions. Uh, please remember that uh, the site techedguru.com contains tutorials on PHP, Java, C Sharp and many other topics. Thank you.